Police tonight say there are more victims as they continue their investigation into an ex-Rockford crew coach accused of videotaping girls while they were changing. New tonight, 24 News 8, Sarah Hurwitz is in studio control with the latest on this case. Sarah? Well, good evening, Marley. The Kent County Sheriff's Office says head coach Tim Vallier admitted that he's been videotaping and taking pictures of girls on the crew team for a few years. The number of victims now up to six as detectives continue to comb through all of his electronic devices. He's coached for Rockford Crew since 2009. For how long has head coach Tim Vallier been secretly videotaping and taking pictures of the girls on the crew team? We believe these pictures may have been taken as early as last fall, um, but we're not sure yet. And as far as how far back this is going to go, the suspect did indicate that he's been doing this for a few years now. The discovery made by a few girls on the crew team in this Explorer, a video camera lying on the floor. The girls started watching it and quickly realized the disturbing reality, members of their team changing. A parent called the superintendent. Detective Gary Vickery with the Kent County Sheriff's Office says an investigation led to Coach Valier. Initially, it found two girls in a video. Now there's an additional video and several pictures of girls on the team, amounting to six victims. We have confiscated all of his computers, anything that can hold any type of picture or video. Um, now it's just going to be in the process of getting that stuff downloaded to find out what pictures or videos are going to be on it. Detective Vickery says the department has no reason to believe there are victims outside of the crew team. And in a previous interview Sunday, Superintendent Mike Scheibler said the district had no knowledge of this prior to it being reported Friday. And in a meeting Monday, Rockford and Northview Public Schools met to discuss the situation. Both schools use that crew house and the safety of the building is under evaluation. And after the Kent County Sheriff's Department processes the electronic files, they will be submitted to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to verify whether they've been shared around the world. Evaluator is charged with two counts of using a computer to commit a crime, possessing child sexually abusive material and child sexually abusive activity, and he is no longer employed with the district. In studio control, Sarah Hurwitz, 24-Hour News 8.